Welcome to tutorial number two, which is the account setup section for the tutorials. Uh, we've just installed PowerMail for Joomla here. Uh, the latest version right now is 1.82, and we're going to go to the account section from the control panel. Here we can see we have no accounts set up, and so we'll go and set up a new account right from the beginning. You can name your account anything you like. I like to name it the same thing that the email, the same name as the email, just to, as a reminder, but this is going to be anything you like. The next settings, all of these things from here below uh, are optional. You can just leave the default settings and you'll be fine. Over here, the server settings are the main important things we're going to concentrate on right now. But briefly, we'll look at this. If, you publish, if you're published and active, this account will work as soon as we're done. And this interval is how often uh, it will check from the front end of the website if you're using the PowerMail Crone. Um, section and default is where the email from that's going to this email address will go. You can put it in the about Joomla section or if you'd like to just leave it uh, to the default section which is where the parameters is set up to go uh, then, then it'll, it'll, be, it'll drop in that category. Uh, we'll review these settings later since they're more advanced settings, but let's go over to the server settings for now. For the server setting, you need to pay attention to what your POP3 or your IMAP settings are. Generally, if the email account is hosted on the same server as your Joomla install, then you can use local host. Uh, and then for POP3, the port is 110. For IMAP, it's 143. And for other things such as Gmail, and whatnot, um, it will be a different number that's specified. Um, for your user, this is a commonly misunderstood uh, parameter. You need to put the complete email address of the account that you're going to be using to collect email. Um, and then we put the password for this um, email address. That's all you need to do to set up. Uh, a couple notes here. POP3 seems to be the more accurate one for character set recognition. Uh, we've noticed some problems with Umlet uh, in IMAP, and overall POP3 seems to be more, the more reliable. Now, if you don't put local host, you can put, for instance, here's my mail server, um, but you can put uh, whatever your mail server is specified to be, uh, and that will, that will take care of that server setting. Now, once you save this, you should see an account here. And the first thing that you want to do really once this is set up is go over to our testing section here under to the right and you can see action test and let's click on that and see what we get. And this says connection was made successfully zero messages found in inbox. Uh, that's the message that you want to see. Uh, if you have a problem here you may have a problem with your PowerMail for Joomla. Uh, one of the most frequent common uh, most frequent problems with PowerMail for Joomla account setups is right here. If you get an account that's not connecting, you can actually create blank pages on the front um, of the website uh, or even in the back end. So uh, that is a, a problem because of the way the Crone works. And I'll explain this in more detail on another tutorial. But there you have it in a nutshell the account setup. You're ready to go at this. Um, Redbud at PowerMailForJoomla.com. You send an email here, and it will be received at every one minute uh, that the front of the website is is uh, um, opened. So, thank you very much.